One of the most important things for men to understand is that women will often lie as a survival strategy and that we shouldn't take everything that they say at face value. And so today we have a question from a viewer who says, yo, Elliot, I've been dating a young lady for several months now. Things are going great. And recently we've been opening up about our past. And she revealed to me that one year ago, her ex-boyfriend raped her. And so now our friend wants to know what to do and comes to old Uncle Yo for some insight and advice. And so the very first thing I want you to know is that you don't know all of the facts. And so for you to be getting angry and to get upset and want to take action on something that you only have one half of the story is just not logical. It's not fair to you, to her, or to anyone. And nothing will be resolved if you just act out of that emotion. And we also need to take into consideration why she might say something like that. Now, I preface this by saying that women lie not because of malice, not because they're bad people, but because they're the weaker sex. And just like a child with a parent, if you want to survive, sometimes you have to lie, right? If you go ahead and tell your parents everything when you're a kid, you'll be getting grounded every week, right? So the same way works with women and when they're dealing with men and the public and either other women. They, they, they try to save face by saying things like, I was abused and I was raped. And as a result, in most recent years, those two words, in my estimation, have lost all potency. They don't actually mean anything. And we know this is true if you look at the pop culture examples of so-called rape. I mean, we saw it in the universities with all of the Me Too bullshit that turned out to be lies. And so we had a lot of young men going to prison, serving time for something they didn't do, but out of the guilt and shame of a, of a woman who made a decision that maybe she regretted later, now a young man spends time in prison. I'm not saying this is always the case, but something to consider. Also, the whole Me Too thing with, you know, all the celebrities coming out. We saw what happened with Amber Heard and Johnny Depp, right? Oh, my husband raped me. Uh, that what turned out to be a lie. And so you don't know what happened in that moment when the two of them came together. And if she is, if he is her ex, if they were once intimate, there was something about him and may still be something about him that she's attracted to. So maybe he's not an all that bad guy, right? You don't sound like a bad guy and the same girl is dealing with you. How do you know that he's automatically a bad guy? He may be just like you. He may be a dude who was dealing with a girl that was enjoying one another, having a good time, and maybe towards the end of the relationship, she wasn't feeling so sure about him. And they became intimate and she had some regrets felt some shame, wanted to save face. And oftentimes, like, you know, women aren't just lying to you. And I'm not saying your girl is lying. This is just something to consider. They're not just lying to you. They lie to themselves. So once again, they don't feel completely crushed by being wrong because that threatens their survival. My wife does this from time to time. I'll catch her and I just let it, you know, roll off my back because I know that she's a She's a woman, right? There are times when she's wrong and she will not admit that she's wrong. And I understand it's a survival strategy. Uh, same thing, you know, I have three daughters and I can see through a lot of what I couldn't see through before having three girls, young ladies. And I understand in a way that most men don't understand that women aren't sugar and spice and everything nice. I've watched my daughters antagonize their brother, antagonize each other, get snapped at as a result, and then play victim. I and mean, we see this all the time. So there are so many deep primordial things going on under the surface that you have to take into consideration before just getting upset and going after this guy. Also, it is a primal desire for women to be fought over by men. There's something that turns her on to know that you're angry right now and that there's a savior for me right now. And I'm not saying this is her, just stuff to consider. There may be a fantasy in her mind of you fighting her ex-boyfriend. She may still have lots of desire for him, 
but out of disdain because she can't have him or be with him or have broken it off, that she wants to see him pay. She wants to see him have pain so she can make up whatever story she wants in order to play victim and have the whole world come to her rescue. Am I saying this is the case? No, I'm not. I'm not saying that, that she is lying. I'm saying you don't have all the facts, you don't have all the information, you haven't spoken to this guy, and there's also a tendency for women to lie. And so the very first step I would outline for you is to relax. Don't get too heated. I get it, we want to protect women. The same way that women protect themselves by lying, men, well, we have big muscles and we wanna fight. And so we want to protect women. And it is our very desire to protect and to help, right? This is why, like, I know this video is not going to be very popular. There are going to be a lot of people that are very upset with me for saying this, because even men, mostly men, because it's like it's deep-rooted. It's, it's, it's embedded in our DNA to believe women and to protect women and to save women because they're smaller, they're weaker. And not only that, it's, it's our desire. It's, we're bigger and stronger, not just for abuse's sake, right? as some feminists would have you believe, have you believe, we're bigger and stronger because God put us there or created us in such a way that we want to protect that which is smaller. A good man wants to do that. So you're a good man for doing what you're doing, but you just don't have all the facts. Don't believe everything she tells you. Get the information before you take action. That's the prudent thing to do. Done.